Segler. Smith just oh, waited for oh, it. Here Woods, Lamb, but Martin in an impossible position. Oh, no, no it's it. not. It's dusty. Hey, guys, what is up? And welcome back to another uh, AFL Evolution 2 video. Today's video is something different. I decided I wanted to see um, if everyone can remember a few years back, Dusty Martin did come out. And he actually said that he well he was he was uh, a genuine chance to join the North Melbourne Football Club um, in the off season. So we're gonna do some scenario videos. Um, I will be releasing some more. So make sure to comment down below uh, what ones you guys want to see. So we're gonna start off with Dusty Martin on the North Melbourne Football Club. Now it's not really gonna be like a player simulation. Um, it's basically just gonna see how well the the ruse would have went if Dusty Martin ended up to, ended up joining them. Um, make sure to comment down below, guys, what you believe would happen if Dusty Martin joined. Also, comment down below some scenario videos you guys want to see in the future. Uh, what would happen if a certain player did this? What happens if a team did this? Uh, we're going to see what happens if Dusty Martin was on the North Melbourne Football Club right now. So, like I said, this is not a player simulation. Uh, we're just going to see how well this team would have went. So, we're actually going to go and uh, change, manage the team. Um, as we get ready for the season. So, um, let's start this off. Luke McDonald can go out. Jed Anderson can go to the bench. And Dusty Martin will be going on ball. So, I think Dusty Martin comes in as the highest rated player uh, for the Ruse. Paul Ahern has to get a go. I'm going to put him in for uh, Luke Davis, Uniac. Uh, ben Mackay. We'll see if there's any players on here who should be in the team. I mean, Aaron Hall is a good footballer. So, I'm going to put him um, in the half forward for Turner. And we'll have a look. Anyone else who deserves a spot on this team? I mean, Hayden's been getting a game in the back line. Larky needs to get a game up forward. So we're going to put Larky in there. I'm going to put uh, Simkin on ball as well, um, if we can. Ben Jacobs is in there for some reason. I'm going to put Larky here. And we're going to put Larky at center half forward uh, for Mason Wood. But like I said, this is going to be a complete simulation to see just how well this team would go uh, if... Dusty Martin was on the team, so we're going to simulate to round one. I'll see you guys then. I'm just going to see if North, if it could, it could North Melbourne win a win a win a, win a grand final. Um, if Dusty Martin was playing on the team, I'll see you guys at round one. So it's round one. We're going to see how well this North Melbourne football team is going to go. So I actually think Dusty Martin's injured at the moment, as uh, the Roos get off to a really good start. Dusty Martin is going to miss two weeks, I'm pretty sure, uh, with an injury. Of course, it always happens when you're doing a simulation like this. Wow, the Lions. The Lions are actually a really good team on this game. Um, let's go and have a look. I think Dusty Martin will return for round three action uh, against the Port Adelaide Football Club. Um, let's go and have a look and see if there's any injuries at the minute. Like I said, we're not going to be changing anything. We're just going to see how well this team would have went. Um, Dusty Martin will return to the team. And we'll see if he will debut and make his uh, debut for the North Melbourne Football Club. Is Dusty Martin on the on the ground? Um, he's not on the... He's not. I think he, here he is here. So Dusty Martin... Uh, will return to the team um, and of course Dusty Martin will be starting on ball so yes we want him return left wing if we can put this into the on ball where are the on balls uh, for Ben Jacobs so Dusty Martin is now on ball and we're just going to see how well this North Melbourne football team is going to go so I might simulate um, might, let's just simulate for a little bit we'll see how well Dusty Martin plays um, let's see how he went in his first game as a North Melbourne football club player Dusty Martin, where is Martin? So Martin had 17 and he kicked, did he kick any goals? Surely he kicked a goal as well. He had 17, did not kick a goal. Uh, fantasy points was 93. So he actually performed pretty well, Dusty Martin. Uh, I, yeah, like he's, like I, I'd love for, to see what you guys think, how well would Dusty Martin go with the uh, North Melbourne Football Club. North Melbourne actually get the win. Um, did, du did Dusty play in this game? Let's go down. Um, I can't see his name here. Surely he's not injured again. He can't be. Oh, there he is there. So, Dusty Martin actually only had the 10 disposals uh, for the Ruse. Did he kick any goals? Um, I feel like the simulation needs to be fixed or something like that. Um, North Melbourne actually get the win. So, they're actually playing some good footy at the minute. Uh, I might simulate to maybe halfway through the season just to see how well this team is going. I just wanted to see what it was going to be like if Dusty Martin was on uh, the roster. Let's simulate this. He had 17 in his first game. I think, oh my God, North Melbourne actually blow uh, the Fremantle Football Club out. Dusty Martin again. I just wanted to see if he's going to like break out and have this massive game. I mean, he had 22 disposals in this game, so he actually is playing some good footy. Uh, and let's have a look. Did he kick any goals in this game? He did kick a goal. So 22 disposals and a goal for Martin, which is really, really good. Um, I'm going to simulate to maybe, I'd say, halfway through the season. So we'll go to like round 13, round 14. And we'll just see how well Dusty's going for the Ruse. We'll have a look at his averages and all that good stuff. And we'll just see if uh, if North Melbourne can win a premiership with uh, with Dusty at the on on the roster and, and 
leading this uh, North Melbourne football team. So we're at round number 12. Uh, let's go and have a look at this ladder and just see how well this uh, North Melbourne football team is going. I feel like if they had a Dusty Martin, they could go to the next level. Five wins, seven losses at the moment. So they're not playing, I mean, too bad. Let's go have a look at the injuries. We have to make sure that, uh, that Dusty is not injured. And he's not at the minute. So Cam Zerha is missing eight weeks. That is big. Let's go and have a look at some of the stats and all that good stuff. Stat leaders. Um, you definitely want to have a look and just see how players are playing. Um, we'll save Dusty Martin on our team. So Cam Zerha, 62 disposals. He's always at the top, I swear. Uh, Todd Goldstein's having a really good season. 248 disposals. Um, can we go into team stats? That's what you want to look at. Uh, so let's have a look at disposals. Dusty Martin, um, he is 161 disposals. So he's not having like a breakout season, but he is playing some good footy. Um, can we change like the overall disposals? Here we go, the averages. So how much is Dusty Martin averaging? Adrian Bonner is averaging 21 for us, which is really, really good. Dusty Martin, where is Dusty? So Dusty's averaging 16 a game. Um, has he kicked any goals? 16 a game, and he's averaging... Uh, let's see if he's kicked any goals. So Tally Garner's two goals a game. Uh, we'll see if Dusty's averaging a goal a game uh, for us. He's all the way down here, I think. I think I might have went over him. Actually, yeah, here he is here. So he's averaging 0.2 goals a game, Dusty, but he's averaging around 16, 17 disposals, which, are, which is okay. Uh, North Melbourne really need to get going if they're going to be any chance of uh, making the finals. 18, 10, 118 to the Lions, 14, 6, 90. Uh, this is a big win considering the Lions are a really good team on this game. 18 disposals for Dusty, so he is playing some good footy at the minute. Uh, hopefully he can keep leading this North Melbourne team. I think his deal was like 1.4 million or something like that. It was something ludicrous. It was something crazy, uh, which he ended up turning down and joining the Tigers. But like I said, I want to do more of these uh, these videos just to see what would happen if uh, if players decided to go somewhere, if teams decided to go down a different route. Um, I think it is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to simulate this last game, and then we'll get to the end of the season. Um, we get absolutely blown out by the GWS Giants. So Dusty's first year with North Melbourne isn't going to plan... Uh, you can see here, if we go have a look at schedule and statistics and have a look at the ladder, North has six wins and nine losses. And Dusty Martin, hopefully he's not injured. I always got to check the injuries, got to make sure there's no injuries for us because I swear he's, I swear the good players are always injured. Ben Brown is missing 10 weeks. Oh, boy. So our first season, Dusty Martin, I might only do two seasons and then maybe do like a follow-up video. Wow, big high-scoring game here. Dusty Martin, how did he go in this game considering it's a, it's a big, big... Um, scoring game, Dusty Martin, where is Martin? Well, he actually did not perform at all, there he is here. Seven disposals from Martin, surely he would have performed a little better. He's the highest, like, rated player on the team, so I'm not too sure. I'm going to see mate to the end of the season, we're going to see how well Dusty went. Uh, we'll see if North Melbourne can get anything out of this season, because like I said, we're going to see what would happen if Dusty joined the North Melbourne Football Club. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. It's round 23, and as you guys can see, North Melbourne are not in the top nine. I mean, Adelaide are first, and we all know how bad Adelaide have been playing at the moment. So um, let's go and have a look at some stats. We'll just see how Dusty Martin fared in his first season as a North Melbourne Football Club player. Um, pretty disappointing considering I thought Dusty would be able to lead to this, this North Melbourne team to uh, the finals. So he has he's got 336 disposals. Uh, through the entire season, which is really, really good. Um, if we can just go into averages and all that kind of stuff, I want to see how much he averaged this season. Um, so he did actually, I mean, he's I mean, he's not even up there. I think he was averaging like 16 or 17 when we last checked. He's averaging 16 and a half disposals, almost basically 17. Uh, we'll see how many goals he's kicked for the season as well. So 17 disposals, and then we'll see if we can just go back and have a look at normally. And he's kicked the four goals. So he's had, I mean, he's had an okay season. He hasn't really set the world on fire. We're expecting a lot more out of Dusty in season number two. Because like I said, it's going to be probably two season part. If you guys want to see season three and four, make sure to comment down below. But like I said, comment down some more scenarios. I'd love to see what you guys, as we get a good win to finish off the season... But we did not win the Premiership season. The Geelong Football Club went on to win the Grand Final over the Crows. So the Crows lose another Grand Final. Uh, the Crows are last on the ladder, so I don't, actually don't know how they are in the Grand Final. So Nick Larkey won the best in Ferris. Riley Knight was the Brownlow medal winner and the Coleman medal winner. What is going on there as uh, we get ready for free agency? So we will be taking the job at North Melbourne yet again. Are you sure and accept this offer? Like I said, this is probably like a two-season part uh, video. Um, let's go and have a look at some uh, tr trades, because like I said, I am the coach. 
We've only just got Dusty in. Um, so, oh, this one's Geelong. Geelong Cats are inter interested in requiring Josh Walker to the club. They're a paired offer up. Radagalia. That now it's a trade we probably could do. Um, is there any other interesting trades that we could take? You know what? We're gonna do the we're gonna do the trade with the Geelong Football Club. Um, they can have Josh Walker back, and we get Radagalia. So that is a big trade for us. I need to go make sure that I'm signing all the players. So I'll see you guys um, near probably the end of the draft, and then we'll uh, we'll reassess and see how Dusty Martin can uh, can push this team. So it's season number two for Dusty Martin. Now there has been some uh, there's been a few changes in the off season. So with Dusty Martin joining the team, I'll just give you guys a quick rundown. Uh, of basically who have joined the team in the offseason. So we've had a few good players actually join. Now, I'm not saying this actually would happen if Dusty Martin joined, uh, but these are the players who have come on board. So if we can go over to uh, team stats, here we go. We can have a look. So we got in the offseason, we made a trade, which we guys seen. We've seen uh, Radigalea, who's actually injured at the moment, join us which is pretty big for us. And we had one more big uh, acqu acqu acquisition, you could say. He came home to Melbourne, Robbie Gray. So Robbie Gray has joined the team, uh, probably to play off his last probably final couple of years. So this is, we're going to do one more season, like I said. This is just going to scenario mode. We're just going to see what happens um, if our certain team would actually... If Dusty Martin joined the team, I mean, I just want to see how well this team could play. Um, let's go and have a look at this team and just see what is going on. I think uh, if we can put... I mean, you want, you want your best team up and going, but we actually can't play our best team at the minute. Um, Dusty Martin is Ruck, Robert Todd Goldstein, but Robbie Gray has slid into the team. He's playing half forward at the moment. We have, uh, I'm going to play Cam Zerhardt at full forward. So let's actually get into the final season of the simulation. We'll just see how well this uh, this North Melbourne team can do. This one's in Melbourne, and we lose to the Fremantle Dockers. How did uh, Dusty Martin go in this game? Uh, he had, I mean, how could he be on ball and not be getting these? He had 20 disposals. I mean, he had a pretty good game, 17 kicks and three handballs. Uh, so we are going to simulate to the end of the year. I might simulate till maybe halfway through the year again. We're just going to simulate and see if we get any, many, many, many more wins. Robbie Gray kicked six goals and had 28 disposals. Uh, how did Dusty Martin go in this game? I love just to check just to see if he, uh, if he's going to dominate. He hasn't really had, oh, he had 27 disposals, Dusty. So he actually was really, really good. Um, did he kick any goals in this game, though? Dusty Martin had 27 and did not kick a goal, but still, a uh, pretty good game from Dusty Martin. You can see him there, major ball winners, 27 disposals for Dusty Martin. I'll see you guys at the end of round 12. We'll see how good uh, this North Melbourne team is going. We'll just see how good uh, Dusty Martin's faring with, uh, with the team. So we're at round 12, and yet again, the North Melbourne Football Club just can't get it going. Four wins and six losses have also had a draw. I mean, what is going on? Surely we put Dusty Martin on a different team. Maybe the team will improve, but I just don't really understand what is going on. Let's go have a look at our team stats because we definitely want to have a look and see how our team is faring. Maybe I need to get in there and make some changes, but uh, Dusty Martin's still nowhere to be seen. Let's go and have a look at the averages for disposals. Uh, Charlie Combo, no idea who this guy is. 25 disposals a game. Um, Dusty Martin's actually injured. He's averaging 16 again. So what is wrong with Dusty? He's probably after the entire season knowing this game. Uh, it always does stupid stuff like this. I mean, I, just, I don't understand why players are out for so long. Eight weeks for Dusty, yep, of course. Well, I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. This is annoying, just having this um, over your head with all these injuries, man. Surely there's a way you can turn all the injuries off. But I know people say you can actually turn them off, but it just doesn't really work like that. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and we'll just see if uh, Dusty can return. We'll see if this North Melbourne team can can make anything out of this uh, out of this. This, this 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 video, I mean, I thought Dusty was going to lead this North Melbourne football team to, to, pre to premiership. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So it's the final game of the season. We're coming up against the Gold Coast Suns. And if you have a look at this, if, if we go back here, if we actually have a look at this, there is a chance that if we win this game, we could play finals. We're currently eighth at the moment. We win this game, we could go to, or we could go to high as eighth. Uh, we need Melbourne to lose. We need GWS to lose. We're just going to have a look at and see if, these do, if they're playing each other. Then... Then it's over. JWS play St. Kilda and Melbourne. Who are Melbourne playing? They're playing Essendon. So we win this game. It gives us a chance to make the finals. Um, we're going to go and have a look at team stats. We're just going to see how well everyone have fared this season. Mason Wood, 400 disposals. Absolutely killing it. Uh, Dusty Martin, if we can have a look how many disposals he averaged this season. 21 for... Oh, he must play just the one game. Dusty Martin averaged 16 again. So he's still... I mean, he wasn't really a standout. Let's have a look and see if we give us any chance to make the finals. We get the win over the Gold Coast. Do we make the finals? Oh, we don't. I think we would have finished uh, ninth. But the Crows go on to win the grand final over the Power. And a big, big win. And you see here, Larky wins the best in Ferris again. We finished... Uh, where did we finish? 
ninth. We finished ninth this season. So Dusty just couldn't get it done. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that like button. Make sure to comment down below some more scenario videos. Make sure to comment down below if you want to see me do this again. I'll definitely do a part two. Maybe follow on, see if we can do it all over again. But Dusty Martin could not lead the Naroos to another grand final. Could not lead him to a final series at all. And uh, he stays with the two flags. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next AFL Evolution 2 video.